Hey Fly Tires, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thank you for stopping by. Now, I've got a pretty fun pattern for you today. This one is called the Crystal Flash Soft Tackle. Now, there's no history of this thing. It's just one of the 1600 flies in the Federation of Fly Fishers Pattern Encyclopedia. But it's a pretty cool pattern. It's just one of these that are kind of named for what it is. Crystal Flash. It's got two strands of Crystal Flash, kind of spun as a rope and then wrapped as a body, and then some brown partridge for the soft tackle. Now, it is a bit unique and then it's got a bead behind the hackle, which I think it's pretty cool and I think you're going to like it. But before we get started in today's fly, if you entered to win Mike Vala's classic streamer fly box or Dave Hughes' American Fly Tying Manual, stick around to the end. I'll be doing the drawing to give those books away. But before we do that, let's tie the Crystal Flash Soft Hackle. So there it is, Crystal Flash Soft Hackle. Very easy pattern, pretty fun one to tie. I'm using a size 14. Common size for this, I would say 14 down as small as an 18. And this is a 2.4 millimeter, no correction, 2.8 millimeter tungsten bead. And before we put the thread down, let me just show you about where the bead is gonna be. And we're gonna have the hackle in front of the bead. So the bead is gonna be set back from the eye just a little bit. So we can move it out of the way for now and then go ahead and put your base of thread. I'm using black. 70 denier UTC. We take this all the way back to the start of the, or the bend of the hook. Now before we tie in the body material, which is Crystal Flash, I'm going to build a little bit of a taper right here. Remember that is about as far up as I'm going to want the body, right there. So if you want to, you can just build a little bit of a taper right here. It's just as easy to do with your Crystal Flash, but you know, it's a little more solid if you do it with thread. Okay, now before we tie in the crystal flash, take a look at the bead again. It's gonna be about right there, maybe a little bit more forward than that, than that, because think about it. If you get it too close to that the point of your hook, you're going to really minimize how many fish you'll catch because you'll just close that gap too much. So we want it set off, you know, set back from the eye, but not too far back. Okay, now body material here, I'm using a one strand each of a dark and then a purple crystal flash. So I'm just taking one strand each of these and I will catch them in kind of like this. And then one little tight wrap and just take them all the way back to where we're going to start the wrap in the body, which is right there at the, the start of the bend. Now I'm gonna take my thread back up here and hang it. That's gonna be the front of my body right there. You can leave that bead out of your way for the time being. Now, spring-loaded hackle pliers work best for this because we're grabbing four strands. Now, I'm going to go ahead. You know what, before we do this, let's put a, a half hitch right here and then park this thread out of the way so we can use the rotary. I don't often use the rotary when I'm filming, just it kind of gets in the way or the, the arm here gets in the way of the camera and backdrop. But I'm gonna try it tonight. So I've got my four strands called in with the hackle pliers and I'm gonna give it a spin until I get a, eh, a decent rope. Okay, I think that's fine. You see that right there? And I'm gonna wrap it all the way up to the front, then maybe halfway back down, then back to the front again. We'll want it to be fairly thick up front so the inside of that bead will, you know, won't, will cover the, the body, but it won't slide back too far. So go ahead and spin this up. Okay, that's, I'm looking at the monitor and that's a little bit of a lumpy body right there, but hey, that's okay. I'm gonna live with it. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this flash in with maybe two turns of my tying thread before I snip it off. And one thing I've thought about was just going back and filling this in with some UV resin. I haven't done that with any of them. I think it might be uh, just too much work, but we're gonna push the bead back right there 
But before we do that, let's go ahead and lock this in and put our whip finish in. And we can probably go ahead and put two whip finishes back here. Just watch your thread. It's starting to unwind a little bit on me right there, making a little mess. But we can trim that up easily enough. Well, it is kind of a mess. I just looked at, it, at that on the monitor. Okay. We've got a couple of stray fibers there, but see, going to be hidden with the bead. And before you commit to that position of the bead, make sure it's not too far back. Make sure it's back far enough that, we, that you can get the hackle in front of it, but not so far back that you really close that gap between the hook point and the bead. Now just start your thread right in front of it. Build a, a good size dam if you need so the bead doesn't slide up. I think that's going to work right there. Now let's tie in the hackle, the soft hackle that makes this a soft hackle crystal flash. Brown partridge, just a small slip of partridge feather right there. I'm going to create my little v-notch, grab the tip, and then pull it back right there. So there's my tie-in point. Just catch it in right behind this bead, or right in front of the bead. I'm going to fold it back over and really lock it in, getting my thread back up there behind the eye. And we'll want to trim this excess off right here. And it is partridge. It's a pretty small feather, so I'm going to need my hackle pliers. These Umpqua Dreamstream pliers I've mentioned in a video before, these blue ones, I think they make a red one too. These things are great. Some of the best hackle pliers. They've got a lot of grip strength and nothing slips out of them. So I'm going to do probably three, three turns, three wraps of this hackle, and we'll take a look at it. Three worked on the last couple of flies I did. This it depends on what your partridge feather looks like, if you can get away with just two. But I have needed three, and it's worked well. So that's three right there. Let's go ahead and catch this one off. And then snip this excess. We'll see how it looks. The moment of truth. Is it enough hackle on here? I think it is. Let's go ahead and push this back and lock these in for good and build our head. Now if you find your that your partridge is sticking out too much perpendicular, what you would wanted to have done is build a thicker thread base right in front of that bead, then you're laying your hackle down on a you know a thicker base and then they will lay a little bit flatter. But I think I like what we've got right there. So just a couple more wraps and we can whip finish it. And we need one whip finish here because I'm going to put a drop of head cement on it. If you have any cleanup to do, now's the time to do it. Just got any stray partridge fibers sticking out. I kind of like that look right there. So the Crystal Flash Soft Hackle. Pretty easy pattern to tie. I imagine it can be really effective. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to give it a shot in the next week or so. But that's it, my friends. I really appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. All right, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. I'm going to make this quick. We will do, first we're going to do the drawing for Mike Vile's Classic Streamer Fly Box. I'm at Random Comment Picker. I need to paste the video URL. I'm going to filter any duplicates. And for this one, I need to select specific text. And this hashtag was book. So let's get the comments. There are 30 comments. Scroll down here and click start. It's going to cycle through them and stop on somebody. So let's go. Okay, Dave Hall. Congratulations, Dave Hall. You get the Mike Vala Classic Streamer Fly Box. Now let's go back up here and I will paste the URL for 
a Dave Hughes review. And this one we have to change the hashtag to bugs. So let's get these comments. Okay, 32 comments on this one. Do the same thing. I'm gonna click it, it will cycle through. And we'll see who gets the Dave Hughes American Fly Tying Manual. Brian McDonald, Brian McDonald, outstanding. Okay, so we've got Mike and Brian, congratulations, or was it Dave? Yeah, I'm sorry, Dave and Brian. You get the two books, uh, send me an email with your mailing instructions, your address, and I'll get these to you ASAP. So that's it, my friends. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support of the channel. Take care, and we'll see you next time.